Welcome to TradesViz. In this video, we will explore all about the trades tables of TradesViz. This is where most traders spend their time when journaling. After all, the most important element of a trading journal is its tables it has and TradesViz excels at this. We will see why. TradesViz has multiple types of tables. To navigate to the trades table, the most used one, click on the trades tab under the tables section on the tabs list on the left side of your dashboard. You will see a list of your trades along with 70 plus stats in each row. Before we get into the specifics of each feature, we want you to understand that almost every part of the table is customizable and we'll explore each feature in this video one by one. First, you might want to display more rows on the same page. To adjust the number of rows in the table, click on the Actions drop-down at the top and change the rows per page option. Now if you think the rows are large, it's due to the presence of notes and tags that you see here. Note that each column's width is adjustable. Meaning, if notes and tags are important to you, you can make them take up as much space as you want by expanding the column header. Despite this, you can still make the rows have the same height to replicate what you see in an Excel sheet. To do this, click on Actions and enable the Same Height Rows option. Next, you might want to hide or rearrange the columns. You can do both operations using the Columns tab on the right side of the table. Click on the Columns tab and you can check any column to make it visible and uncheck to hide it. At the same time, you can also use the drag icon to drag the column names up and down to rearrange them in the table. This operation can also be done directly on the Trades table by clicking and dragging the column header. Another nifty feature here is that you can pin any column you want. Since there are many fields in each row, once a column is pinned to the left or right side, you will be able to scroll horizontally without losing the context of the column you pinned. There are two more table settings that you might want to check. The first is the presence of the summary at the bottom. If you do not need this, you can disable this by unchecking the Show Page Summary in the Actions drop-down. For now, we will keep this enabled so that we can quickly view the information on the current page. Remember that this shows only the stats based on the current page alone and not all of your trades. The next setting is that of showing the column filters. If you use the filters a lot and want to immediately access it, you can enable this option via the Actions drop-down. Once enabled, you will see a filter box right below each column of the table. All the modifications you have done so far can be preserved so that your tables look exactly the same every time you log into your dashboard. To do this, click on the Actions drop-down again and click on Save State. Remember that you need to do this anytime you make a change to the table that you want to be preserved even after re-logging into your account. You can apply all of the features we have discussed so far in all the tables you see in TradesViz, this includes the Symbol Table, Day Group Table, the Pivot Table, the Tables in the Day or Trade Explore tabs and even the Tables in the Custom Dashboard. The only difference is that instead of the Actions drop-down at the top, you will see a three dots icon at the top right or left corner of the table with Save State and other options like we see in this custom dashboard. Since each table has a unique state and is saved independently, you can have multiple tables in the customer dashboard each with a unique configuration to exactly the view data you want quickly. For example, in this custom dashboard, we have three tables, one showing the most recent trades, one showing the advanced stats like exit, our value, etc., and the last one showing notes and tags only. We will now go back to the main trades table and explore the filters of the tables. To filter columns there are multiple ways. The most commonly used one is by hovering your mouse pointer over the header of the column you want to filter and clicking on the filter icon. The other way is by using the Filters tab on the left side which is useful in case you want to search columns and apply multiple filters at once. Finally, you can also enable the Column Filters option and directly enter the filter value below the column header. For now, we will keep things simple and just filter one column at a time. When filtering, the type of filter changes based on the data you are viewing. If you are filtering a categorical or a text-based column, you will see options to match the text like Starts With, Ends With, or Contains. This is very useful for searching symbols, tags, and comments. For numeric columns, you will see conditions. For example, if we want to filter for PNL between minus 100 and plus 100, we can easily do that using the in range option. For date based columns, you will be able to select the date directly. Finally, on top of entering filter values, you can also combine them with conditions. For example, if we want to see both Apple and Nvidia trades, we can filter using the contains condition combined with the or clause. You can create almost any type of filter using these conditions. One important concept we want to discuss in the filter is the ability to use custom formatting to filter for multiple values. 
For example, if you want to filter for tags that contain the word tag or chop or mk. That is not possible with the built-in condition as it supports only two clauses. However, we have special conditions built into the equal condition. Entering tag percent slash chop percent slash mk percent when equal to is selected will tell the system internally that you are looking for trades that have tags that start with either tag or chop or mk. Another interesting feature that is that if you want to search for trades without tags, simply enter percent no tag percent in the equals input field. There is a very detailed guide we have written about advanced filtering and we have linked that guide in the description of this video. Remember that to use these advanced filters, you need to use the equals filter along with the specific format we have mentioned. Finally, we quickly look at the various charting options of the TradesViz tables. You can chart pretty much any section of data by clicking and dragging cells, just like you would in Excel. After selecting a group of cells, right-click inside the selection and click on Chart Range and select the type of chart you want to visualize the data with. By default, the data the chart picks is the first categorical value from the left side as the x-axis and all the numeric values for the y-axis. However, you can select what data to visualize by clicking on the arrow icon in the chart to expand the chart setting and selecting exactly what you want to visualize. This is just a fraction of the charting prowess that you can achieve with the TradesVis tables. Check out our in-depth guides on pivot grids and advanced tabular charting guides linked in the video's description to leverage the full power of the world's most powerful single-page trading dashboard. All of the features we have discussed above apply to all the main tables you see under the Tables section, this includes the Symbol Group Table, Day Group Table, Executions Table, and the Tables in the Trade and Day Plan section. The same also applies to pivot tables, but the scope of filtering, grouping, and organizing data is far more than what we can explore in the scope of this video so we highly suggest reading our in-depth blog posts about the Advanced Pivot Table tab. This ends the complete guide to effectively using the features of the Advanced Tables TradesViz. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at tradesviz.com. Thank you for watching this video.